What is up everybody and welcome back to another video with Chick Girl. My name is Sandra, I am an interior designer and I make videos based on interior design, fitness and lifestyle. Alright, so a few months back I made a video called how to create an interior design resume and that got quite the views, quite the likes, a lot of questions and comments about it. In that video I primarily just showed you the outline and how to create a resume and I figured, you know what, let me show you guys step by step how I created it in InDesign. So let's get started. First things first, what you're going to want to do is make a folder called JPEGs and that is where you're going to store like any images that you want to bring in your resume. So I have my headshot and these little icons I have in my resume. Just to show you guys here, that's my picture and those are the little icons I'm going to have in my resume. So InDesign has images linked. If those links are missing, it's going to come out blurry. So it's just very important to know where these images are. All right, so we're going to go to File, New Document. And then we are going to just have the custom selected. And then you can change the units to inches. And it just automatically goes to 8.5 by 11. Keep the orientation uh, lance or perch it. I'm sorry. And if this facing pages is checked on, check it off because you're not making a booklet. And then you hit create. I don't like to have these margins showing. So I'm going to go to view screen mode and preview just to make it look a little cleaner. The first thing we're going to create is, these, is this box, this colored box. Go to your left hand panel and select the rectangle tool. And then you're just going to click and drag to whatever size. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then obviously it does not have any color in there. So we're going to add the color. Go to your properties box panel. And then where it says fill, click that box. And it already has these set colors. But um, I don't really like these. So I'm going to change it. And to do that is go to the top and click double click that colored box and then from there you can just kind of choose and just customize your color to whatever you want or if you already know the CMYK color you can just type it in and that's what I'm going to do so it's going to be 16 25 31 and 0 and then click OK and then voila there you have it I'm just going to adjust the box to fit this this page and you can make it bigger if you want you can stretch it out make it smaller um, but in this case um, I didn't have it half of the page I have it a little less so that seems about right so next up I'm gonna show you guys how I got my picture on there in the circle shape very simple what you're going to do is bring in your photo, just drag it in there, and then just click. So obviously it's not to scale, it's not what I want to show, so I'm just going to click these white arrows and just drag it up to hide the rest of the photo. Alright, so now we're going to go to Window, Object and Layout. Pathfinder and that is where you can select what shape you want your image you know you can click rectangle you can click all these other uh, shapes that's shown and we're going to click the ellipse obviously it's not a perfect circle so you kind of have to just drag and play with it to get the shape that you want okay so it's definitely not centered just click in the middle of the shape until this hand icon comes up. So once the hand icon comes up, just click in the middle and then you get this um, orange box which is a shape of your image. So you can just click and drag or make it smaller if you want. So that looks about right, it's centered. So now you have a picture of yourself, look at that. Y'all are getting pros. So next up, we are going to make the header and I'm just going to type my name, Sandra Travis, and I'm going to make 
the font bigger I'm gonna change the font size so you can do that at the top or on the side over here the properties panel so I'm just gonna make it bigger a little bigger okay so I have these all caps so I'm gonna change it to All right, so my text has spacing and what you can do is you can do the old-fashioned way and just click in between the letters and just do a space or another way I'm going to show you guys is highlight the whole word and on the right hand side where your properties box is under character there should be an icon that has like a V and an A with arrows pointing um, outwards like horizontally so you can just maximize make the space bigger or make the space smaller so you can just customize it to however much you want to space out your letters okay so now I'm gonna write interior designer and I'm gonna have to change the font for that for the font size because it's too big And now I'm just gonna go in and just copy and paste all of my kind of just job description and bring it into InDesign. So I'm just gonna like Control C, press T, and then do Control V. And now I'm just gonna go in and clean it up. So I'm gonna change the spacing, the font size, and the font style. All right, look at that, you guys, almost halfway done. All right, so the next step is we are going to bring those little icons. Um, so make sure when you bring an icon, there is no white background. Because if there is, I'm gonna show you guys how it looks. It's gonna bring the white background with it and it's not gonna look too clean. Um, it's not gonna give you the effect that you want unless you want a white background so you may have to do this in photoshop is just remove the white just to make sure that the icon is just the icon and nothing else all right so we're going to bring these in and when you bring these in make sure that you are not bringing it into an existing shape otherwise it's going to be synced in there so see how i cannot move the envelope because it's synced in there so when you bring it in, make sure you bring it where there is like empty space, there's no text, there's no shape. Otherwise, it will sink in with the text too. All right, so now I'm going to click these corner pieces. Press shift and control at the same time you are shrinking an image down, otherwise, if you don't, it's going to be distorted. So I'm just going to shrink these icons down to the size that I like. Um, you can choose whatever. If you want to make them bigger, you can. If you want to make them smaller. But I had them pretty small. And now I'm just gonna add the contact, my location, phone number, and email, just individually because I want to make sure these are spaced out properly. And I'm going to do the same thing I did with my professional experience paragraph. I'm just going to copy everything and type T and then just paste it. 
and then I'll just clean it up you know put the font style and the spacing how I like it And that is it guys, that is how I created my resume in InDesign. It was pretty easy, nothing too complicated. Comment down below and let me know if you guys still have some questions or if I didn't explain something thoroughly. Um, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I would appreciate it and if you already haven't and if you want to join the fam, I'm slowly growing my YouTube. Please feel free to hit that subscribe button. And I will catch you guys on next week's video. Bye.